everyone in today's video we're gonna see how you can have full control over the customization and creation of your invoices matching it with your own needs and wants and we're gonna use the invoice generator plugin by Cloudlayers. if you're ready let's explore it so let's first of all do a quick overview of the features that the invoice manager plugin offers to you and the first one is the gutenberg blocks so this plugin provides you with a set of gutenberg blocks which streamlines the process of invoice customizing so here we have the company data block this one outlines your company's information making it more transparent also outlining your brand identity then we have the billing data block which captures customers billing information order items block these are the order that they have made they are going to find it there and the order customer note blocks so if they want to leave some notes then you can also provide the space for them the plugin is also powered by gutenberg editors capabilities so it offers an intuitive interface for you to have this real-time and drag and drop editing experience so you can use any color palette to match your brand style the company information you can use your company and logo blocks and the order information real-time preview so in the invoice editor plugin, uh, we have included this selection feature that you can select and add a real order and see how it will look like in real life if this order, let's say, is added to cart and is uh, checked out, uh, you can see how it will look like. We have the admin dashboard, so you can choose to send invoices based on the order status changes. And you can also have an invoice meta box where you can have all uh, the invoices in one inbox. Then we have this option to add invoices to account order. You can either attach invoice PDFs or attach the invoice downloadable link. So they, they click on that, the invoice is going to be downloaded. The invoice emails option, so you can include the invoice in new order email that you are sending to your uh, customers or send the invoice email on creation, or you can attach the invoice PDF or attach the invoice uh, downloadable link and email. So you have four different options that you can choose from. And these are some more features that you can disable the invoicing option, the invoice creation process for free orders. You can delete invoice options. You can reset se sequence annually so that it restarts the numbering of your invoices. Then you can customize the sequence uh, prefix and the suffixes and some more tools that you can create missing invoices for orders or you can delete invoices without orders so now it's the high time to go to our uh, dashboard and test this in action and now i'm in my wordpress dashboard and let's get started with the settings of the invoice manager plugin and here we have four main tabs the invoice the orders the emails and the tools so let's get started with the invoice section here we can obviously choose the template and we have have a default template here but we can create new ones and we can see and choose them from here and we're going to create one together uh, then we can uh, choose when to create the invoice so when the order status is processing or completed or both maybe then we can choose when to delete the invoice uh, i'd never or when the order is moved to trash or when the order is deleted permanently we can also disable this for free order so i'm going to check this then if you do not have any invoices previously then you can start uh, your sequence with one but if not maybe we can just choose another number to continue from there we can also have sequence prefix a uh, sequence suffix maybe your brand name or country code anything that you're thinking of so let's head to orders and here we can have uh, an enable the invoice meta box uh, which adds the option to download view generate or email the order directly from the order viewing page in woocommerce and then we can also add the invoice column in order list uh so this is an extra column displaying where uh again all these these actions can be done the downloading viewing the invoice etc then we have the emails uh, section so this one is in the premium uh, version of the plugin again you can choose to include the invoice uh, when a new order email is sent or any other type of email that you can choose from here you can also attach the invoice PDF or just attach the invoice download link where the user can create on that and download the PDF uh, of the invoice. So let's head to tools. Uh, so we have two tools. Uh, we can either create missing invoices for orders uh, if we have any. If you don't, if you create, click on create, it's um, gonna say that uh, no orders without invoices were found. But if there are, they are gonna automatically be created. And again, goes uh, for this one. You can delete the invoices without orders, uh, and you just need to 
click on this delete button very easy okay so now let's head to the invoices section and see what we can do here uh, let's click on add new so as you can see this is the default template and this is what i was talking about the gutenberg blocks so we have here um different sections different blocks so if you click on browse all you can see all the uh, blocks that WooCommerce Invoice Manager offers. So here we have the invoice itself, the billing data, shipping data, order customer note, order items, order items total, columns. So you are free to configure this however you wish. This is just a template, so it's going to be uh, changed uh, based on a, an order made by your customer. But these are going to be like the structure is going to be the same. The invoice number is going to be here with the prefix and the number and the suffix, the date, the order number, order date. Then you have you're going to have the billing data, shipping data here. This is going to be your logo, which you can download. Let's quickly do this one. Mm -hmm. Then you can customize the, the company name, uh, the text that you wish to have. Now, the good thing is that if you click on any of these blocks on this sidebar, you're going to be able to customize them. So you're going to choose uh, which element you want to display first of all in this. Do you want to show the header or not? The invoice date, the invoice number. So you're free to customize these. These are very flexible. And the same goes for this one. Do you want to show, uh, let's say, the taxes or not? The subtotal or not? Uh, maybe footer. Let's see what it changes. So. As you can see, this is very flexible for you to customize. Then you can also customize the padding uh, of the header, the colors, uh, matching this um, with your brand style. And then this goes for all the sections that you wish to customize. And once done, all you have to do is to save this and you can use this template wherever I showed where you can choose another template. And now for every order that was created uh, and for every invoice that was created for these orders, they are going to follow the template that you have created. Well, that's it about the invoice generator plugin by Layers. And if you still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming tutorials. And I'll see you next time. Bye!